ఐ ఎమ్ డాక్టర్ కొట్లాడి సురేంద్ర శెట్టి కన్సల్టెంట్ స్పైన్ సర్జన్ పైన్ కేర్ అండ్ ఆర్థో కేర్ హాస్పిటల్ మాగడి రోడ్ రాజాజీ నగర్ బెంగళూరు వెన్ షుడ్ వన్ గో ఫోర్ ఎంఆర్ఐ ఆర్ సిటీ స్కాన్ విత్ ఎ పేషెంట్ విత్ లో బ్యాక్ పెయిన్ ద సిటీ స్కాన్ అన్లెస్ అడ్వైజ్డ్ బై ద సర్జన్ it is not advisable to go for a ct scan because ct scan has got the disadvantage of radio waves like x rays are not good for health so exposure of more x rays to the body it's not good so it should be done only with the advice of a surgeon so if there are certain advantages of ct scan like we can make out bony structure better than in with mri otherwise mri is always needed mri is always beneficial so when we should take mri suppose if there is a pain for 3 days 4 days or 5 days and pain is mild and it's not producing a neurological deficiency neurological weakness then we don't have to go for an mri a simple x ray is enough or sometimes even the clinical examination is enough and with some painkiller or muscle relaxants the pain disappears usually in the majority of the cases pain will not last for more than a week or so but suppose the pain persists for say more than 3 months then we call it as a chronic pain as a chronic low back pain in case of chronic low back pain to assess the condition of the spine the mri is very much essential and in this the standing mri is much more better than the sleeping regular mri because most of the back pain most of the neck pain are posture related so when the patient stands or sits or walks the pain increases when he lies down pain decreases that is why the standing mri definitely has a better place than the regular mri so the mri will give a clear picture about the disc what is the health of the disc how is it whether it is degenerated or whether it's normal whether it is bulging or whether there is a protrusion of the disc or there is a herniation of the disc at the same time it will also give the structure about the nerve structure is there any pressure on the nerve is there any degeneration of the nerve all those things we can make out with the mri so one should go for mri if it is more than the pain is more than 3 months or even in cases less than 3 months sometimes when the pain is too severe excruciating pain with radiating pain along the legs then for assessment we need an mri and sometimes with a nerve weakness suppose there is suddenly there is a foot drop the patient cannot is not able to lift the foot up so in that case we have to go for a mri or if the patient has got in case of coda equina syndrome coda equina syndrome we say when there is a severe pressure on the lower part of the spinal cord that is the below l1 level vertebra or at about l1 level vertebra and there is a severe pressure so there will be sudden loss of control of bladder and bowel so suppose that happens then even if it, the pain is only for one day then we have to go for an mri because that needs immediate surgical attention so that is why we have to go for an mri